A working group of the Grand Fork City Council received more details regarding a proposed new massive wet corn milling plant to be built on 370 acres just north of Simplot in Grand Forks. The $352 million plant would produce in part pet foods. The project is being developed by Fufong, a Chinese company. It would require millions of gallons of Red River water a day and produce millions of gallons of wastewater, requiring seven $70 million plus of infrastructure to treat it. City Administrator Todd Phelan and uh, Councilman Brett Weber toured similar operations in Blair, Nebraska and Fort Dodge, Iowa. But if you look at what Grand, Grand Forks and East Grand Forks, we, we, have, we have potato processing, we have ethanol plants, we have Philadelphia macaroni, we have American Crystal Sugar. We have similar industries on both sides of the river that we saw down there. And with this corn... Uh, facility is going to, it's just going to bring more of it. But, uh, most of the people uh, told us that there, there wasn't a problem. Um, the smell was coming from the lagoons. And so this is one of my questions. Uh, my understanding is that they had engineered open air lagoons and that ours would be covered lagoons. So if you want to address that quickly, I'll go on after that, Mr. Phelan. Yeah, Council Member Weber, that's a really good point. Um, what we saw there were open air lagoons and obviously we're further north up here and so the construction, the pretreatment side, and the waste, they'll all be covered um, units, and so we won't have that issue. Similar to uh, J.R. Simplot has an anaerobic digester. That's a the part of their pretreatment system near their facility that's covered. We would anticipate something similar to what we see there. Um, uh, truck traffic, 800 trucks a day, we were told. Now, in Blair, Nebraska, that was a real problem because all of those trucks rolled right through uh, downtown. Um, uh, our situation here would be uh, very different different for me because I don't live near the plant. Uh, people living near the plant are going to experience something differently, but that's, uh, that's uh, one thing to be aware of. Um, additionally, they uh, told us that there was upward pressure on pay and benefits as a result of, of the plants in both communities. Um, there had been uh, pressure on housing, uh, especially during the construction period, um, and uh, they, they largely addressed that by um, uh, increasing their trailer park capacity. Uh, my understanding is our current uh, vacancies at uh, local hotels would be able to handle much of the uh, workforce, the temporary workforce that would be during this two-year period. Uh, but probably some additional trailer park capacity. Um, while there's a lot of questions and concern about odor and, and uh, odor pollution, um, one of the things we were cautioned about was light pollution. Uh, these are big plants that, uh, that change uh, the light situation, um, although that can be uh, mitigated by having uh, downward lighting rather than lighting just up into the air, as, as uh, was often done with uh, earlier construction. Uh, but that's something that, that we should be aware of. Um, rail traffic, uh, we were told, is going to be heavier than uh, what's uh, originally estimated. Um, uh, we're probably looking at a unit train, two unit trains a week is the current estimate, if I, if I understand correctly. Um, I don't know how much that'll be different from what I'm currently experiencing as, as a resident of the downtown area. Um, uh, there, the only changes to the town's identity was uh, uh, quality of life had been positive, is what we were told. Uh, so that was part of our that was part of our question as well. Um, in addition to uh, all of that, we were assured that there would be more growth coming from this. As, as Mr. Phelan has already pointed out. And that expansion, that ongoing expansion, is both in relation to uh, further industry coming to town, spin-off industry. Now, there are still a lot of moving parts to this plan. More than $70 million of infrastructure would be paid for with special assessments to the Fufong plant, state, county, and city dollars, and it would involve annexing the property into the city of Grand Forks. Some property owners along the borders of the new plant have already expressed concern over being annexed and rising taxes. City Administrator uh, Todd Phelan says, at this point, details to those taxes for a 
adjoining property owners haven't been figured out yet. Likely, many more questions to come as the developer, the Fufang uh, Group, hopes to begin the two-year construction project by this summer. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.